Hello there, and here we are now on day 78 of the Old Testament, and I just want to focus on chapter 9 of, of um, Numbers, and uh, we're looking at the Passover, which we've looked at already, but there's one verse I want to read out. So Moses, verse 4 of chapter 9, so Moses told the Israelites to celebrate the Passover, and they did so in the desert of Sinai, at twilight on the 14th day of the first month. The Israelites did everything just as the Lord commanded Moses. And like I mentioned yesterday, they did it in the desert of Sinai. What was the Passover? The Passover was a few things. It was a remembrance of how the Lord delivered them from Egypt and how uh, they put the blood of the lamb uh, on the doorposts, and the Lord passed over their homes um, uh, in, in, and spared them. And as a result of what he did, uh, Pharaoh let the people go, and they left. And it was a reminder of how the Lord had delivered them. How did they survive 40 years in the wilderness, in the desert of Sinai? They did it by celebrating Passover, by looking back at what the Lord had done in their lives and what the Lord had done for them. That's how we survive our desert times, by looking back and remembering what the Lord had done for us, how the Lord had delivered us. We all have a testimony if we're followers of Jesus. But the Passover wasn't just about looking back. Without them even completely realizing it, it was about looking forward because the lamb that was slain and the blood that was put on the doorposts represents Jesus. And Jesus was going to die on the cross and his blood, as it were, we put on the doorposts of our hearts. And that's where we get forgiven. And that's where we get set free. So the other way that we survive and we thrive in our desert, in our wilderness, is we look at the cross of Jesus and we break bread we take communion however we want to do it, and we remember that Jesus died so that we might live. We survive and thrive in the desert by looking back at our history with God and looking at the cross of Jesus, which made everything possible. See you tomorrow.